Hello. This DVD is about a defense against the Reti opening. I have played many games as white in the Reti opening, so I know how to defend strongly with black. I'm going to focus a setup uh, like in the Sclav, where black plays d5, c6, and I'm convinced that after watching this DVD, you will feel comfortable facing Teretti. My name is Henrik Danielsen. I am originally from Denmark, but now I live in Iceland. I live in a small place with beautiful nature. So, the Teretti can start here with knight f3, and after d5, the main move is g3. Then we play c6, and we wait with the development of the knight g8 to f6 and I will show you here why we do that. After bishop g2 we play bishop to g4 because if we play knight f6 instead then I think white has chances to get an advantage with c4. If bishop f5 then he can capture on d5 and play queen to b3 with chances for an advantage. And after bishop g4, instead, then knight e5 gives chances for an advantage. I will talk more about those lines in the DVD. This is just to give you an overview. And also the move uh, d capture c4, I think white has chances to get an advantage. So what we play is bishop g4 here. And uh, if now uh, white is to castle, I think c4 is the best move. If white is to castle, then we will just develop with e6, which is extremely solid. And then we will use the square e7 for knight g8. This setup is underestimated. It is very, very healthy. And I think it promised black good uh, perspective. If white wants to fight for an advantage, to my knowledge, then c4 is the best way. But then we don't play knight f6 as just talked about because of knight e5. But we play e6 and then the idea is that knight e5 here is not strong. Uh, you will know why later. Uh, and after c captures d5, idea is that black can't capture back on d5 because of this check, uh, winning the bishop. Uh, so after c captures d5, uh, we could of course capture with the d-pawn, uh, but I like this white uh, uh, position. So uh, I prefer to capture on f3 and after capture back on f3, c captures d5 because we no longer have any piece hanging on g4. And this position here, I believe, is uh, very, very healthy for black. It's difficult for white to win. Then in move number two, it's also possible to play b3. I'm going to show a game in the end of this DVD telling you how to play and uh, in that game I will also more than generally talk about how you can win as black against the Reti playing so solid, uh, how you should try to win. Hope you can use that explanation uh, later in the last video to get better results. And of course it's also possible for white to play c4. We answer that with c6. Uh, and if then b3, then I suggest straight away to play knight f6. Because he has no longer any uh, queen b3, white or queen a4. And then after g3, I suggest both bishop g4, but also bishop f5. This is what this video about is about. And... Uh, I wish you good luck with black against the Reti.